Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first ever Ninja's News Corner, where I give you the gaming news that I care about in this corner. Now today, we're going to be going over a couple stories that have hit the news recently that, you know what, I think they're worth your time. They were at least worth my time, and I find them interesting, so why not you too? First off, let's start with Nintendo. They just had a massive Nintendo Direct spanning 46 minutes. 46 whole minutes of Nintendo Direct. Now that means one thing. New hardware, right? I mean, it's got to be new hardware. Well, that is correct, my good sir or ma'am, whichever is watching this video. Now, what it might it be you might be asking yourself right now? Well, you probably already know. It's the new Nintendo 3DS. Oh wait, it's not. It's the new Nintendo 3DS XL that is, it's new, but it's an XL and shares the same name as the thing released a few years. I'm confused, as most of you are. No, no, but, but for real, it's the new Nintendo 3DS XL. Where's the smaller model, you might be asking, which if you're me, you're definitely asking that. Well, we don't know. We really don't know. Nintendo said, and I quote, Amiibo, 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 Amiibo. Oh wait, let's translate that. They said that they carefully select their products for the different regions, and that the n new, new, Nintendo 3DS XL fit our region better, which I do kind of agree with that. It does make sense that they would only release the new Nintendo 3DS XL because a lot of people in North America wouldn't want the smaller DS when they've already moved up to the XL. Now, if you're like me, you only have this little guy and I want an XL, of course, because it looks all, you know, fun and dandy and whatnot. But I would like the smaller new 3DS. Let me know in the comments down below which you would rather have. But I mean, if you're planning on upgrading anyway, you don't really have a choice. You gotta go with the new 3DS XL. Ha! Huh. So that was some new 3DS uh, talk. What else did they say? Let's see. Amiibo, Amiibo. Fire Emblem Amiibo. Yo, that's awesome. That's right. Martha and Lucina Amiibos coming in, I believe, the fourth wave of Amiibos. That's gonna be awesome two of the only amiibos that i truly desire they're just oh wonderful just wonderful absolutely wonderful oh wait that, that's that's not the only fire emblem thing they said that's right ladies and gentlemen a brand new fire emblem game do we have a title no it's just the latest in the Fire Emblem series. It looks awesome. Please go check out the trailer. Even if you don't know what Fire Emblem is, which you should. Go check it out. Just, it's a wonderful trailer. Link in the description down below. It's awesome. But in Japan, they do have a title for the new Fire Emblem. And it is called Fire Emblem If. And now a lot of people might be wondering, why if? I mean, well, it's clearly a question. And that question is, if... You already have, like, 27 waifus from, uh, you know, Fire Emblem Awakening. How are you going to manage them in a new Fire Emblem? So many waifus. So little time. Moving right along to some sad Nintendo news. Club Nintendo is shutting its doors. Well, not its doors. It's hypothetical doors. It's servers. It's website. All that jazz. You have until March, I believe it is. I don't know the specific date. But in March, that is when they're going to cut off the codes. Like, you know, you input the code on the website. You do the survey. And, yeah, they're going to cut that off. So go ahead, take all those codes, if you haven't already, and put them in clubnintendo.com. Get yourself some cool rewards. Oh, wait! Don't redeem those coins yet. They've announced that in February... They're going to be adding some new rewards, you know, for the people who have accumulated a lot of coins lately. Um, I'm personally kind of bummed about this. I love Club Nintendo. I've used it since it first started. But I do agree with a lot of people that it's kind of been going downhill, and we've seen this coming for quite a while, so don't be too sad. But don't you worry about 
not being able to redeem your coins, you'll be able to redeem your coins until July. So order them rewards. But wait until February. Don't miss out on the cool stuff. If there's cool stuff. There might not be. I, I cannot confirm cool stuff. So our next topic is a new story that hit just recently that I am stoked about. Borderlands The Handsome Collection. Now what is Borderlands The Handsome Collection, you might ask? It is a next-gen or current-gen, whichever you prefer to say, PS4 and Xbox One, reskin, you know, remaster all that good jazz of not only Borderlands the pre-sequel, but Borderlands 2. This is awesome. I mean, you know, the fans have been asking, oh, when are we going to get Borderlands PC1, PS4, Xbox One? You know, people have been asking that nearly nonstop. I haven't really been asking that because, well, I haven't gotten around to playing the pre-sequel on PS3. Quite flank, quite flankly, flank steak. That game is a flank steak. Quite frankly, I just haven't had an opportunity to play the game. I'd, I'd like to. I love Borderlands. With the Handsome Collection, you're not only just getting a remastered version of Borderlands 2 in the pre-sequel, you're getting all the DLC. And I mean all the DLC. I just read the list of DLC that will be packaged in with the game. It is all of it. It is incredible. Like, we're talking every, like, major story pack for Borderlands 2, all the skin packs, all the headhunter packs, the two additional characters. It's nuts. The whole season pass. Whole deal. And even with the pre-sequel, you're getting everything. The season pass and, like, the sort of, like, I think, pre-order DLC that they had, uh, the Shock Slaughter Dome or whatever it was. It, uh, it looks to be quite the bargain for $60. That's a lot of content. And with the Headhunter packs and whatnot for Borderlands 2, it even offers content for me, someone who has Platinum Borderlands 2, and spent over 150 hours on Pandora. It's just... I'm so excited for it. Wait. Wait. What's that? We're gonna be able to cross-save our data from the pre-sequel and Borderlands 2? On the same console family? Wow. That's awesome. But you know, Borderlands 2 is a wonderful game. Probably one of the best games of the PS3, Xbox 360 generation. But it's awesome now that Borderlands 2 is pretty much everywhere. It's everywhere. It's on Xbox 360, PS3, PC, now Xbox One, PS4... PlayStation Vita, this bag. What? That's right. Just so much Borderlands for only $60. Truly, truly a good deal. Well, that's all my time, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have enjoyed this very first episode slash pilot of Ninja's News Corner. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave some feedback in the comments down below. Let me know any sort of changes you'd like to see. The show will be ever-changing, so you know. And go ahead, you know, subscribe, like, all that stuff. You know, if you want to see more of these videos, let me know. Peace. Or should I do, you know, you know, Borderlands? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Borderlands, Borderlands 2.